All right, guys, welcome back to Every Day with me, Nick. We're going another one today. We've got a ride on mower. Just picked it up, spares repairs. Wouldn't run. I oh, know, sorry. Would run, it would run, but it would bog out when you put a bit of throttle on or summit. So, carb related, in it. Um, it's a. Uh, it's a Murray 125102. Uh, so it's a 12 and a half horse Briggs and Stratton commercial. Oh, what do they call it? Industrial commercial engine. So apparently that's the one with the cast iron sleeve on. Um, I went there, lovely, absolutely lovely couple. Um, Ronnie and I, 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 I didn't catch his wife's name. Um, assured me that it ran. Um, obviously, when, when I got there, it wasn't running. It's just typical. I've, I've been in that situation myself, selling stuff, petrol engines. You know, one one second you can literally have it running, the next it, it is just dead in the water. So you're just like, eh, what's going on? So I took a took a gamble with him uh, with it, and uh, we've got it back. So we just we just got it back when we're. Um, just checking things over uh, he said he charged the battery uh, he said it was running he said it was running so uh, you know it seemed a very genuine guy I've, you know i've been around people who, who seem genuine and aren't but seem genuine um he said it was running to get it out to where it was so i said well we'll take it we'll take it because my mower deck's rotten now on the uh, on the other murray so anyway we've got it here um uh, Took it out, checked behind the little panel there for the electrics. I uh, thought, well, there's, a, there's 12 volts going to the solenoid, so there's, it's it's definitely there. So what's after the solenoid? Found the fuse packet. Opened it up. Blown 15 amp fuse. So that's why there's nothing working. <laughs> He'll kick himself when he see, if he sees this. Uh, so I've just got a brand new 15 amp fuse to put in. Uh, hopefully that should should get us started um, but yeah it's very very tidy it's a, t it's a year 2000 yeah it's a year 2000 it's, uh, it's pretty decent he says he's just had a service and a new wheel or one of these one of these wheels he's just had put on because it was cracked um, I think I've just got to adjust this height this side a little bit because it's a little bit a little bit low. I think he said it's come off its hanger, but I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, it's got it's a few dints and scrapes around it, but I'm not that bothered. Um, it's going to be put to use. It's all metal. I think I think this is plastic though. Oh no, that's metal as well. Metal. It's all metal. All metal bodywork. No plastic on it. Uh, it's got a rear gra grass box on it. Um, I think that's the tip. I think that's what you do. I have my tip because it's still got some grass in. Um, tires are pretty decent. Um, deck's in pretty good condition as well. So, and the engine looks pretty tidy as well. Uh, which means no, but to see what it's, see what it's like when she starts up. So I'm going to put this fuse in and uh, see what it does. So bear with me. Right, so here I am, sat on machine. There's just a little inspection panel here. Oh, well, let me get my billy out of the way. A little inspection panel here, and the fuse. And just there, look, and that's the solenoid there to get it started. So I took that fuse out, blown. So I'm sat on it now. Um, I've got my foot braking on the on the parking brake, so I'm just going to try and turn it over. I've got the fuel turned off because when the fuel's, in fact, I'll turn the fuel on. It starts leaking out through the carb, so carb has got a problem like. So we'll uh, we'll just turn that up to new, uh, choke. Right. Oh, she doesn't like that. She don't like that at all. It was a wee bit smoky, was there? Let's have a look. Let's turn her over. Oh, 
Right, I think I think it's because it's got no fuel in. I think that's why it's not firing. It's starting to come through now. Might start up now. Hold on. Let's give it a bit of throttle. No. And again. Now, yeah. sorry about this dodgy camera work, guys. It's <laughs> now nah, I think we must be out of fuel. It's not even dripping down now. It was oh, it's dripping it down a bit there. Look, so let's turn this tap off. So next job is uh, I don't know if it's going to be today. Take this airbox off. Take the carb off. Boom. Mm, petroly and uh, see what's going on under there I think I think a valve maybe is blocked float stuck on another tail we'll have a little butchers at that though no problem so yeah but she's a nice tidy little machine really like I think the deck's in pretty good order which is which is good so that's what we've got I like it I mean we've got a burry already but the cutting deck's absolutely shot um, why don't they make these decks out of stainless steel or something? Galvanised something just to last longer. I don't know. So, um, that's it, I guess. I mean, it's just going to be a carb clean. I ain't going to go. I ain't going to take a video of that, I don't think. There's plenty of carb cleaning videos out there, so I ain't going to bother with that. Uh, but for the coin, absolutely, I think it's going to be a good machine. If the engine is a no go and it's, it's no good, and, uh, you know the carbs the ca or the carb might need replacing might get a new carb but if the engines i'll just put the other one on i've got um what I forgot on the other murray i think it's a 15 16 horse i think um pull start get rid of the electrics just just go straight on and that's reliable because that's what the murray the other murray's been going around on so um yeah that's what we're going to do so I'm going to get the carb sorted, try and get the carb sorted, and um, I'll see you back and so hopefully it just might it might have been a little a little problem. Put a bit of fuel, fuel in and see if she starts up, no problem. So, until next time, we'll see you soon. Alright ladies and gents, boys and girls, we've got it going. So after having a little tinker around, took the carb off, found that the float pin was upside down. Doesn't help, certainly doesn't help it at all, so... That was that. So we got that put back right, put it back on. I was running, but it was it was pop 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 pop. Wasn't running very good at all. So thought balls to it. I was gonna literally. I was that close, that that close. But basically, there. I've taken the engine off and putting the other engine on there. I've got on the other Murray, but thought we it did run, did run. So let's try it. Let's do it. The Murray that we have got, we obviously swapped the engine out at some point, so we put uh, put another engine on it. So the engine that come off it, I kept a spare part, thinking, always thinking, guys, and uh, sure enough, it's exactly the same carb. So we swapped it, put it on, runs a dream now, absolute dream. So it was carb, carb all along. Uh, carb didn't have. Um, it didn't have what do you call it? Didn't have a choke on it. I don't know how it started, how it's ever started, but it did. Uh, I don't think it had an auto auto choke on it. It certainly doesn't look like it has. So um, we're just going to, just going to have a little uh, blip around the field now. See what she goes like. I'll uh, turn her on. Oh, a bit low that seat, like. Right, you watch. I'm going to run out of fuel here. Lovely. Woo. Wow, she's got some bloody stop on her like. Right. Nice 
it turns well, like. It's better than my Murray, my other Murray. Right. Ugh. Give us some revs. typical absolutely typical ran out of fuel <laughs> bear with me guys right petrol's in see if she starts up again she should do I'd say that was a success. Uh, one thing left to do, uh, shorten the throttle linkage. I f well, I think what I might do is take the throttle linkage off the other one, off the other engine and put it onto this one. It's a little bit, just a little bit too long and it, it's not coming down on the revs. So we'll get that. Uh, go on, in. Go on in. So we'll, uh, we'll get that done. Overall, I think it's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I've just got the hood off because I was just having a look at the throttle linkage there, so there we go. Uh, throt uh, Murray 125 102, that's 12 and a half horsepower, 102 centimeters cutting deck, six speed. That's yeah, pretty decent. So, uh, re, re, re eject as well. She don't get rid of all gear, like I'll have to scrape that out. I think it might be set in there. So, yeah. 
from me to you thank you very much um if you want to know any more on this just give, just comment away and we'll uh we'll get you uh, up to date with what things are and everything else like that so stay safe guys and we'll catch you on the next one take care